this man built his dream home with $2,200 and an old school bus a man named Michael Talley decided to hand over $2,200 for this beat-up school bus with a plan in mind after putting a lot of hard work creativity and with a little help from his friends he was able to transform it into something completely different he realized he end up finding his place his home on a school bus Michael Talley the genius behind this operation had almost little to no experience when it came to home construction but here's how he used his skills he did have to create his dream home Michael Talley's skills lie mostly in design and because of this you would expect him to stay far away from the hands-on portion of the job I've never built anything ever I've helped paint a few houses on mission trips and I helped install some plastic lattice once but that's about it when Talley decided to invent the bus he was venturing into uncharted territory Talley's goal was to build a new home for himself but he wanted to use an already existing structure as the foundation he decided to go with an old school bus because he said hey there's already four walls and a roof throw some wood and some light bulbs in there and call it a day how foolish of me I ended up doing a complete build on the back of the bus in order to invest his money into this new project Taylor had to move out of his cheap apartment and move into a tent when I bought my bus I was living in a studio apartment in North Austin for around $1,200 a month including rent and bills I moved into a tent in order to save money while working on the bus commuting 40 minutes to work every day just to afford more steel and more wood says Tally September 2015 to September 2016 was a hard time for Tally during this time he lost many important things including his girlfriend his job and even his grandpa he said it was a really difficult time but luckily all I really had was this bus and the bus was all I had and I put everything I had into it it seems that for Tally the bus symbolized a fresh start he knew the odds were stacked against him to complete this project he knew he needed to start from scratch since he'd never built anything before I couldn't sleep for months because my brain was constantly going a mile a minute about how to build this and what I was going to do to build that it was the hardest thing I've ever done early on in the building process Tally's removal of the seats turned it into a completely empty vessel it was during this time that Tally was able to see the full potential of the bus Tally said the grueling process that was removing all those seats props to my stepdad for crawling under the bus and helping me remove every single bolt if I did this again I would have used an angle grinder but this was still only days into the build and I was terrified of power tools Tally first thought he had made a huge mistake when he realized that he was five inches too tall for the bus how was he going to live in it if he had to somewhat crouch at all times he admitted as soon as I stepped onto the bus for the first time I knew me being 6'6 was going to be a huge problem the ceilings only six foot one so I was going to have to do some major work to get this thing comfortable for my abnormally large body one of the most radical things Tally did was decided to cut the bus in half he said I cut a section out of the steel ribs and took it to a metal fabricator I had him craft 25 identical steel sleeves that could slip over either end of the rib once the roof was raised this is how he ended the ceiling problem as a professional designer Tally knew that he needed to make sure that every single inch counted if one tiny measurement was off the entire project could fall apart this is my final design for the bus I like to entertain so I put all the public areas toward the front and all the private areas in the back having people over to grill or chill the two most common areas would need access to would be the kitchen and the bathroom one thing about Tally that many of his friends and family acknowledged about him is his love for cinema his social media is full of photos of him and big stars like Matthew McConaughey because of this it obviously made sense that Tally would want a big TV in his place he said I like movies film and television are my favorite things so I wanted a great movie watching room I like to have people over to watch things so I knew I needed a sizable living room I'm also a designer so I needed a great workstation of course Tally couldn't do the whole thing on his own he said a nice man came with his seven-month pregnant wife and eight-year-old daughter to help cart away all the seats to the scrap metal yard and of course we already mentioned that his stepdad helped take out the seats as the days roll on Tally could begin to see his design come to life the scaffolding was beginning to appear and he already had his office set up 
One of the main transformations that Taylor made was completely stripping down the bus windows to replace them. He said, The windows weren't hard to take out, part of me wanted to keep them, but I knew they'd rattle, provide little privacy or insulation, and look weird with my roof raise and design. As a lover of food, Taylor knew he needed a kitchen counter that he could easily chop a lot of vegetables on. As shown here, he already tested an onion on it. IKEA phased out their old kitchen line and I got a hell of a deal on these drawers and cabinets. I paid $30 for everything," said Tally of his new kitchen. Between Tally's movie watching and eating his favorite foods, he knew he needed to be efficient with his space on the rest of his new home. He ended up bringing a couch from his old apartment. He said, I took my IKEA Karlstad couch from my apartment and took off the back, arms and feet so I was left with the cushions and the box spring base. I built that into the bus for added comfort and style. We have to agree it looks pretty great. Tally knew how he wanted the design of his new home to be structured. He got the idea from the vehicle from the Lost World Jurassic Park. He said, I went through about a dozen floor plans for the bus. Since I was a single guy, a twin bed didn't seem like that bad of an idea. I like the idea of a bathroom in the back. If you're getting involved in a construction job, you need to be prepared to do things that could be hazardous. Whether you need to put in a light bulb, fix a pipe, or use electric equipment, Tanley made sure to take safety precautions or get a professional to do it. In this video, Tanley's cutting the holes for the bathroom and living room windows. When transforming a bus into a house, Tanley needed to make a decision. He needed to decide if he wanted to strip away all the key components of the vehicle or have the home act as one he could drive. He said, I got stuck in the mud and messed up my power steering trying to get out. Do you have any idea how hard it is to try and parallel park a 40-foot bus with no power steering? I do. We can't even imagine. Even someone as meticulous to detail as Michael Talley is allowed to make a small mistake from time to time. He admitted when taking down the roof panels, I wish that I had ended up keeping this insulation in. It was in remarkably good shape and would have saved me a few headaches if I kept it in. Removing these panels was the absolute worst, but mostly because of my dumb assert, I had never heard of an impact drill. Not only did Tally make some mistakes during his project, he also managed to walk away with a few injuries. Apparently, things got messy. He said, the first side is done, easily the most painful and bloody part of the build. Got a sweet permanent scar on my forearm when one of these steel sheets fell and sliced my arm open. Don't worry, I'll spare you guys the gory photos. Yikes. Tally wasn't alone in this and he made sure to listen to the advice of his helpers. I wanted to go 24 inches, but my helpers felt 20 inches was enough out of fear of pushing our lock. You can see the screw jacks at the bottom of the scaffolding. Each one of us turned our respective jack in unison to raise the roof perfectly level in one try. Pictured here is also the steel sleeves that I had made that I then riveted into the existing ribs. Wanting to be environmentally friendly and efficient, Taley decided that he wanted to add solar panels to the roof of his bus. He said it was one of the toughest parts of the build and it didn't help that there was no one else available to help him fit the panels. He said of the process, I was doing it myself. It was very windy and things kept falling off the roof. One of the most striking details of Taley's kitchen were the tiles he had fitted. He said, the only cosmetic design that I knew I wanted in the bust was dark hardwood floors, butchered block and white subway tile with black grout. Researched the hell out of tile in an RV and got to work. Not the best job, but then again, first time I've ever done any of this stuff. We have to disagree, that panel's pretty impressive. There's actually a heartwarming story behind why Taley chose this specific vehicle for his home transformation. The answer is in his childhood. He said, my bus was the Armadillo bus. I have two friends who actually rode this bus when they were kids. Sadly though, they had to scrape this off so we could paint the bus white. Taley managed to not only be efficient with his space, but he has also thought a lot about what kind of materials he wanted to use. His proudest moment is what he used for the interior furnishing. He said, it's reclaimed floorboards from a house here in Hyde Park in Austin from 1941. I just flipped it upside down and used the unfinished sides for all my accent walls and couch. Taley was able to fit not just one TV but two. He said, testing out the TV works great. I wired HDMI cables from the wall behind the TV over to the desk where I keep my Apple TV and my computer. 
I should have also wired HDMI cables to the cabinets below and above but I was an idiot so now I plug my PS4 in whenever I use it this was the shot that Taylor took of his modified home just moments before he decided what color to paint it although it still looked very much like a school bus it was only because it had that iconic yellow color as you can see the roof is raised to accommodate Tally and all his furniture of course what's a home if you don't have a place to rest your head at night it was imperative for Tally to have a nice and cozy bedroom not only is it a comfortable sleeping space but it also has incredible view of the forest he said it's a lot of fun opening the back emergency door at night and waking up in the forest every morning